Andrea, what factors distinguished the success in interagency coordination from the failures, and what enabled coordinated results to be achieved? Well, I think the place to start is really to reaffirm what we discussed earlier, and that is that certainly individual personalities, individual interpersonal relationships matter a great deal in explaining successful coordination. And anyone who's served in an interagency context knows that implicitly. Having said that, we don't need to be dependent on the luck of the draw completely. In other words, there are deeper organizational structural factors that really do affect who is in what position at what time, what their relationships are with their counterparts and other agencies, what their skill level is in engaging in the information sharing and joint planning necessary for coordination. So I think that's very encouraging because it really does point toward the fact that there are concrete steps that can be taken, very specific structures and processes that can be institutionalized to make coordination much more likely to emerge. 